Hello and welcome to Monster of the Deep Final Fantasy XV. Fun fact, this is the first VR game I ever played, and that giant fish that just swam by, uh, wherever it is, really startled me the first time because I was paying attention to the title of the game and looking at the controllers in my hands because I really like when they do this where you can actually see what the labels on the buttons are. And I was paying attention to that and then just out of nowhere, giant fish came in. But yeah, I am playing this on a new file because I really like this game and every once in a while you want to play a game you like. It's generally relaxing. Yeah, let's play the tutorial. Generally relaxing. It's quite pretty. It's fun. And it's a VR game. It's another escape from reality because sometimes you need those. Sometimes our reality isn't quite as good as virtual reality. But yeah, I rather enjoy this game. So I'm playing it. It's pretty much as simple as that. Whenever it loads. Alright, here we go. Whoop. That's not how it's supposed to look. There we go. Somehow it got the idea that I was not where I really was. I guess I shouldn't have done this. Yeah, I'm holding it. I'm, I'm following the guide. Also, this elbow is on my shoulder. That's a little awkward. Yep, I'm holding that button. I'm holding it. Come on, I know the controls for this. Why are you not working? Huh? Why not you work? Press button. Hold button. We've got this trail. Which shows that I am, in fact, holding the button. Because if I wasn't, then no trail. Oh, so now... I guess we had to hold it for a good while. There. I'm, I'm trying. Hello? Let me grab. I mean, you see me grabbing that, right? Yep, that looks pretty grabbed to me. Why is this not working? Oh, apparently I had to do something with the right hand. Come on, let me... Oh, I retrieved the line. Oh, we got a bite. Yep, that sure is a trout. We did it. Yeah, yeah, there's sonar, I know. It's right here. And then you go boop. But then apparently it vanishes from your hand in this tutorial. And you can see the areas that it wants you to cast into. My seat... My sitting position is a little reclined, which actually makes the sonar a little difficult to use properly. Yeah, whatever. Let's pull that back. Well then. Come on, fish. A nebula salmon. Well, into the basket.
Yep. Ping. This is just a nice interaction here, the grabbing that off your chest and then going ping. Like, you can play this with a controller, and well, with a standard controller instead of the move controllers like I'm using. And it works just fine, but I definitely prefer this. It's a lot more entertaining. And, like, with the regular controller, you just hold L2, and then the sonar appears in your hand. But here, we just got to grab it off our chest and go ping. And I also like that the button that we press is pretty much right where the thumb is on that hand. It's just a nice little thing. So, can I end this tutorial? Or do I need to catch another fish? Well, there's some big guys in there. Oh! That is not where that fish was. Looks like a salmon. Or maybe a trout. It's a salmon. It's a big fella. Yay, we managed to complete the tutorial. And now we'll get to make a character so I can actually tell it how tall I am. This game is pretty bad about representing people that are outside the standard range of heights, though. Okay, is that really going to be over there? Can, can we get that over here? Like, I'm looking straight forward right now. I'm holding the options button, which is supposed to reset the camera view. But I guess we're looking over here. I'm an inverted triangle. Yes. Okay, please. Well, I guess I have to be craning my neck because holding the options button is not resetting my view like it's supposed to. Delightful. Okay. You know what? Everything's fine. Yeah, that's all good. What button do I press to... Okay, circle works. Um, we can... No, nah, we can ignore a tire. Um, figure? Yeah, I'm taller than that. There we go. And that's all I really care about changing right now. Can we please have things be centered so I'm looking straight forward? A storm's brewing again. Meteorological experts expect the atmospheric anomalies of the past few weeks to continue for the foreseeable future. The provisional government of Insomnia has encouraged all civilians to batten down the hatches and prepare for potential inclement weather. Eyewitness reports also suggest even the eye of the storm is as safe from strife, noting a contemporaneous rise in demonic activity. Hmm. Imperial scientists investigating potential links between the two phenomena have returned no evidence and assert no further probing is necessary. However, while the Sturm and Demon's connection may be tenuous, the hunters insist the threat to our safety is very real. The Council at Meldasio HQ has launched their own investigation into the matter, deploying a task force to dispatch the demons. Stay tuned for updates. In the meantime, stay dry. Nah, I gotta go fishing. Also, for the record, I haven't played Final Fantasy 15. This is the only FF15 related thing I've played. So, yeah, I'm completely lost as to any story related things. But at least I can play this game. And uh-oh, there is an issue. My cat has come by for some petting. So this is me petting my hand, and this is also me showing you how this game does not handle people with long arms. Like, so this is me touching my headset. That's where it puts the hand. And then if I just put my hand a little in front, like, it seems that it puts the camera a good foot in front of the character's face, but... Yeah, if I try and stretch out my arm, which right now my elbow is at, like... Yeah, that's about a 90-degree angle. Instead of having the arm extend further... Oh, cat's rubbing her face on the hand. That's 
I hope I don't hit her with anything, I guess. Oh, yes, yes, cat. That's very nice. But yeah, if I stretch, the, the hand just stretches. And it looks gross. And if you go too far, it becomes a ghost hand. But yeah, I am Stretch Armstrong. Okay, can we... I forget how to actually change the direction I'm facing while I'm in a boat or whatever, because... Suffice it to say, I am looking like 45 degrees to the left here. If I could put that in the center of my view, that would be appreciated. Whoops. Oh, I guess we got this little guy. Come here, little fella. Oh, you put up a big fight, little guy. Oh, look at this guy. It is a short horn bluegill. I don't see the blue, but I definitely see the short horn. Cute little fella. And now I feel like we're looking even further to the right than we were before. Oh, that's special. There's my sonar. Well, let's catch another fish. Oh, or not. Yep, giant demon fish. Just gonna pet my cat real quick. We have been fished. Now, the one thing I need to be careful about with my cat being here. is I don't want to accidentally smack her when I cast. Oh, here I am petting. Why is my camera inside my shoulder? Hey, you okay? Stay with me now. Pop off! Call for help and hurry! Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know why the tracking is being so absurd right now. But it is. Hang on a moment. Let's see. Yeah, the camera's definitely looking straight at me. Showing us a bunch of places we can go fishing. I'd say we're not going to do any fighting in this game, but that would be a lie. Way to show the title for like half a second. Gray skies are gonna clear up, or so it would seem. The tumultuous thunderstorms that rocked the region yesterday subsided overnight, with the sun now peeking through the clouds. Meteorological experts promise a temporary reprieve from the torrential downpours that have put a damper on travel in recent days. Yet although the forecast may look sunny, dark clouds have been cast over the hunter's ongoing inquiry into the recent rise in demonic activity. One of the individuals leading the charge sustained severe injuries in the field yesterday afternoon. The hunter in question is in stable condition, and a spokesperson for Maldacio HQ insists they will continue with their investigation. We spoke with head hunter Dave Auburnbury about the hunter's plans moving forward, and that's coming up next. So yeah, once again, I haven't played FF15. This is the only FF15 related thing I've played. Well, I'd say that ought to do Oop. her. 
Well, look who's up. You feeling any better? Yeah, I'm feeling I fine. I reckon you ought to be what with how long you were yeah. out. Why, you were yeah. sleeping deeper than Papa. You know where we are right now, don't you? A cabin. How about you try taking a look around once or twice? Maybe that'll help jog your memory. Sometimes it's fun trying to grab subtitles. Oh, it's my cabin. Well, how do you feel now? Just fine. You look a little better at least, now that your eyes ain't swimming like they were before. Resolution's way, doing weird things. I took things. the liberty of calling HQ for you. They wished you a speedy recovery and said get back to work. When you're ready, that is. All right. Speaking of which, ain't this the one you were after? Uh, looks like it. I ain't never seen a fish that looked quite like that. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was some kind of demon. Oh, I, Actually, I can't come throw to think it. of it, I do know a fella might know a thing or two. He fancies himself an expert. I can introduce him to you. Couldn't hurt to have another friend. Safety and numbers and all that. Yeah. <sighs> well, I suppose I ought to let you get a little more shut-eye. Wouldn't want to overstay my welcome. Oh, and before you drift off, you might want to say thanks to that old girl. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have found you in time. She done saved your life. If you really want to reward her, bring her down to Hammerhead. I'll have my wrench at the ready. Anywho, take care. Okay, bye. I wish I could drop this. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. So we can rotate. Yeah, we can move. It's a very nice armoire we've got. Compared to the rest of this place. Let's go up to this balcony, because why the heck not? That looks like it should be grabbable. And yet it isn't. And we can look out here. And if I poke my head through... Oh, we're not allowed, huh? Silly VR things. Hi, car. How you doing? Really seems like a bad idea. Uh oh. Okay. I will. Thanks for just spring. Oh, all right. <laughs> I can still move around in that little cutscene. Yeah, it seems like a bad idea to keep the car inside the cabin. Like when you start it up, carbon monoxide is a thing. Ah, yes, this guy that we saw on the title screen. Howdy. Heard you had a mighty close call. Hope you ain't still sore, because there's more hunting to be done. All right. My hunters have got a handle on things for now, but I reckon they could use your help. This little baby ought to serve you well. Ooh, a crossbow. I, w I want it. Those demons ain't no ordinary varmints. Keep your eyes peeled, keep your finger on the trigger, and keep our waters safe. Also, keep petting this invisible cat. Yeah, that's right. I'm petting a cat. Apparently the tracking's having a tough time catching the motion completely, but rest assured, a cat is being petted. Uh, so yeah. Keep your eyes peeled, keep your finger on the trigger, and keep our waters safe. Okay, Hunter Dave. Defeat the demons to restore peace to fishing spots around Aos. Pew, pew. Can't actually pull the trigger right now. That's unfortunate. Hop in the car when you are ready to depart. All right. Uh, hopping in the car. Yeah, whoop. We can go really slowly. And we can also try to change gears, but nothing happens. All right, yeah, story. The boss of Naglis. Reports are flooding in about a dangerous demonfish swimming around Naglis. 
Oh, sorry, Needless, not Nagless. Around Needless Pond and leaving many injured in its wake. It is up to you to tackle this problem and restore peace to the pond. Okay. So let's get to the actual real meat of the game. Don't need these menus. Why is that off to the left? I am not looking anywhere near that. Seriously, I'm... I'm looking straight ahead right now. And I'm pointing at the camera. And yet... I need to turn my head left to have that stuff be in the middle. Oh, hey, it's that guy. He's an FF-15s-man. Also, there's a chocobo, in case you didn't notice. Boop. Don't gotta open the door, you just gotta look out and go. Wait, I'll snag a whopper and then we'll see who's puny. So apparently we can have the subtitles go inside the building. Put up a fight. That's one of the biggest sins of VR subtitles. Is not having them on the top layer. I know I've got the right lore. Hello, you're Noctis, right? You around this neck of the woods. Did you come here on a hunt or something? Sure, why not? Dressed like that? Yeah. Nice try. I'm Can't on a fishing hunt. Oh, I where's my fishing rod when I see one? So I guess that means you're here to see what's biting. Yes, I and then hunt it. Here a minute ago. None of my friends get the art of fishing, so I'm kinda on my own, but you're welcome to join me. Yep, that's the truth. There's my sonar. All right, let's see. I see big stuff over there. And I see big stuff over there too. And I see bees. Well, let's see if we can catch this big thing over here. All right, down there. Whoop. Too far. Too short. Just right, but we got a little one. Come here, little fella. Come on. Whoop. And what are you? An Alstor Bass. Just a little guy, though. So yeah, this is the gameplay loop. We fish up fish to fill up the boss's angry meter. Oh yeah. And then we fish up the boss, and then we shoot it. Uh, I wanted that catfish looking thing. Not this little guy. Petting cat. Cat requires petting. So, looks like two more catches, and we'll have the boss. Whoop. Whoop. Close. There we go. Come on, big old catfish. I want you. Yeah. Oh, that's a big fella. This thing is 0.2 inches taller than me. That's a big fishy. 
There you go, buddy. Right in the net. And we can get one more fish. Now, something I never learned is whether it's possible to actually... Uh, wait, what's this? Okay, it is possible to go to a different fishing spot once you've camped out. That's good. Let's go see if we can't find another big fish. Because, hey, I like catching the big ones. So yeah, there's a catfish over there. Um, there. Okay, we've just... Okay, if I hold the button, then I can see where I'm going. So there's a big catfish and a smaller catfish. Oh, big catfish just jumped. How very special. Let's go for this kind of trouty looking thing over here. Yeah, that guy that just jumped. Whoops. Too far. There. Come here, big fella. Ah, nothing's after my lure. There we go. You are not who I wanted. But we'll take you. Ooh, it's a snakehead. Yep, just a regular old snakehead. Uh, uh, excuse me, I was admiring my fish. Can still see my hand silhouetted. Uh oh. Time to fight a demon fish. You saw that, right? What the hell do you think it was? A demon fish. Are you gonna try to shoot that thing? Yes. Noctis is so tiny. Okay, well, I guess we... Sh oh, right, we shoot it, and then... After we shoot it, we fish it up. Right in the mouth. No, get away. All right. HP bars are empty. So I guess we've still got this one left or something. Hey, hey, no. That's a bad fish. Don't you hurt me. You're a fish. Get out of here, fish. Looks like maybe two more shots. Uh, maybe a few more. Got him. And now we lure, er, not lure it in, we reel it in. And it explodes. We don't get to catch it and keep it. That makes me sad. Oh, hello, whatever Looks you like are. Got an even bigger problem. Run! I guess it didn't like me fighting the demon fish. I swore we were goners back there. Really? Those are my options? No. Really? Because it sure didn't seem that way when you were running for your life. Still, you wanna I've go? seen a lot of fish in my day, but I've never seen anything like... Sorry, let me take this call. Yeah? What? Uh, I know, I know, fine. I'm on my way. 
Jeez. Igni er, I mean, my friend was giving me a hard time because I forgot to tell him where I went. Can he find someone else to worry about? Anyway, I've got to go, but we should hang out again sometime. I can introduce you to the guys. I'll be sure to tell them all about your mad skills. Later. Bye. I kind of wish the subtitles would follow my gaze so that I could actually keep my eyes on him and still have you folks be able to read the subtitles in case that's a thing that you need. Cool, now we're sitting in the yard by our cabin. Oh, we got a new lure. Let's look at our fish. F Hello. Forgot that they appear so close to our face. Yep, that's a fish. Rawr. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't appear so close, Mr. Catfish. Go away. I, I see where I got the name Red Eye. Go. This fish is a nice little blue grayish. And I believe we're looping. Go away, Salmon. Go away. Oh, maybe we're not. Ooh, another pretty blue grave fish. Shame it's got the salmon face. Things are kind of ugly. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay, now we're definitely looping. So, we'll go home. Hopefully the tracking will stop going all wobbly. Usually it's not like that. Oh boy, another hunt request. So, this right here, when I first played and didn't have my VR legs was the most barfy type of thing that they could do to me is automatically panning the camera. But now I'm fine with it. Looks like you're getting back in the swing of this whole hunting thing. Your next target's a real tricky son of a gun. You might start getting double vision, but don't be fooled. Keep your eyes peeled and you'll be fine. Best of luck out there. Okay. neat. We're just going to be playing through the story, though. And we're going to play all the way through the story because, hey, I like it. It's a fun game. And I want to play it some more. But it is time to end this episode, so join us next time when we'll go hunt uh, that guy. See you then, friends.